part 26 of the Ariana Grande blind item series. We are still in 2019. I just wanted to say something about the donut licking video when she says, I hate America, I hate Americans. That was bad because that was on the 4th of July. So not only was that donut shot open and their employees working on a national holiday, but she said that all on the 4th of July and that's where it hit really different to do that. This A-list singer has a new song out. At this point, it can be tough to know which is new and which is a week or too old. So many songs. Apparently the fix is in though, thanks to her manager, Scooter Braun. The song is probably top 20 at best, but Paola and all that is going to make it much higher than it ever deserves. And that is her song, Boyfriend. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually never listened to an Ariana Grande song beginning to end, except for using the sounds and hearing them on TikTok. Meanwhile, Lana, Taylor, Selena, and Olivia occupy my radio. More 2019 Jim Carrey. Of course the former a plus list most movie actor loves the A-list singer. They hooked up and she kissed his ass and took his substances. And it says Jim Carrey calls Ariana Grande a breath of fresh air after working together on Kidding. I guess if you got a man, just don't let him co-star with Ariana Grande on anything. <laughs> So this next blind item features Michael Foster and is literally from the week after her and Jim Carrey hooked up. This A-list singer has no idea what is in store for her considering her new boyfriend is also seeing at least three other women who all think they are the only one he is seeing. This is so random, but it says that Harry Styles and Millie Bobby Brown attend an Ariana Grande concert together. <laughs> what? This is a 2019 VMAs blind item. You agree to play, you get nominated and win, AKA the rebooted boy band, and that is the Jonas Brothers. You say, I don't wanna play, then you don't get nominated and changing your mind later doesn't help you out, AKA the rebooted former tween singer slash actress, and that is Miley Cyrus. Um, and that is Miley Cyrus performed at the MTV VMAs after saying, quote, there's no way. If you have a legit scheduling issue and have been great in the past like this A-list singer, and this is Ariana Grande, you get a pass and get some awards. Um, and Ariana Grande didn't attend. However, even the A-list, even if the A-list singer had been in town, so this is Ariana, she would have still got a pass from performing or even attending because of the night's biggest winner who would have never agreed to perform on the same show. And that is Taylor Swift. <laughs> I love that feud. I wish I knew more about that sooner. Also from the VMAs, this is just Shawn Mendes and Camilla. The fake couple consisting of two foreign born singers were given a 10 minute window where the camera was going to cut to them so the world could see a PDA moment. <laughs>
uh, what Colleen Ballinger did to Trisha Paytas at his workplace at SNL, which I don't care who it is. You don't do that to other people, especially women and their bodies. It's illegal. Also from 2019, this one says Scooter Braun on getting fired by Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber seemingly responds to Taylor Swift's claims about Scooter Braun and Scott Borchetta. The foreign born singer isn't going anywhere. And this is Justin Bieber. He hates the A plus lister. So saying Justin Bieber hates Taylor Swift. <laughs> It's because Taylor took Selena away from him. The thing is, though, the A-list donut liquor has left before and is perfectly willing to leave again, which has the manager trying to calm things down. You need to calm down. The same day, there was a massive sharing of the clip that is more akin to corn than a television show for tweens. The A-list singer who starred on that show and is the subject of the clip sang a song from the show with her former co-star. And this is an Ariana Grande victorious schmexualization clip um, singing with Elizabeth Giles. Jills? Part 28 of Ariana Grande Blind Items. We are towards the end of 2019. Finally! This A plus A list singer has been quietly talking to managers other than her current one. She thinks it is time for a change and doesn't want to be involved in drama any longer. And that is uh, Ariana Grande getting dragged into Scooter Braun's drama with Taylor Swift. And that was Ariana Grande showing some really good judgment, staying away from that drama. Wait! When did Rihanna and ASAP Rocky start dating? Because it says the A-list singer trying to set up her friend with a very quick rapper is only reminding everyone of just how racist her friend is. And that was Ariana Grande is trying to hook up her BFF with ASAP Rocky, the one that did those tweets, you know. We are in 2020. Woohoo! And we are right before COVID. This A-list singer might have been public with a guy this week, but it doesn't mean she isn't hooking up with the former A-plus list mostly movie comic actor who used to be the highest paid actor in the world. Jesus Christ. Ariana Grande is still hooking up with Jim Carrey. It's crazy that she's going to be married to like Dalton Gomez within the next year. Um, and it said that she is dating Mikey Foster again. Okay, like we are days away from lockdown at this point with this blind item. And it says Ariana Grande kisses unknown dude at bar in San Fernando Valley. This former highest paid actor in the world was stunned that the A-list singer cheated on him. That is his forte. <laughs> you can't cheat the cheater. So Jim Carrey was stunned that Ariana Grande cheated on him before he could cheat on her. What the fuck? This is a Mac Miller blind item. It has been well over a year and no one can find the memory cards of a deceased illiterate. Mac Miller, his first and last name, begin with the same letter. A-list rapper. The rapper had a dozen or so from various phones over the years. Most are photos, but there are videos, including racy ones, yes, from an A-list singer. And that is Ariana. Oh, wait, this is a 2020 Dan Schneider blind item. This always creepy teen feet loving producer showed up for a party with many of his former victims this past week. The producer thinks he's in the clear. However, one of the dates of the victim is actually a documentary filmmaker and has been doing interviews with not only the victims from the party, but has reached out to several other women about their experiences. I need to look out and do some research to see if we're getting a Dan Schneider docu. We have a kindness blind item. Without any publicity or fanfare or look what I did it -ness, this A-list donut liquor kicked in 15K to help out employees of this very famous Hollywood diner. That was more than 25% of all the donations received total. So this is now we are in lockdown. This is um, spring 2020. Then there is a blind item about cults and how Ariana Grande helped recruit women for Jim Carrey. Part 29 of Ariana Grande Blind Items. We are still in 2020. This one says Ariana Grande called out doppelgangers for degrading her art's value. The A-list donut liquor makes her talk show and late night living doing impressions of other singers. But when it comes to her, apparently she thinks it is degrading and humiliating. So put her in the demi side of the equation when it comes to relations with fans. So we are entering summer 2020 at this point. We are in the height of COVID. Apparently behind the scenes, these two camps have chosen sides and you can't be friends with both, which is why the donut liquored unfollowed every celebrity who is on the side of the A plus list singer. And that is Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift. And it said, did Ariana Grande unfollow Taylor Swift for political reasons? No, it was for Scooter Braun reasons.
This next one says, Takashi 6 ix questions if U.S. singles chart is being manipulated to get Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber to number one. They have the same manager. Isn't that a coincidence? I always tell you the streaming services are corrupted and can be bought off. What you don't usually see is the reporting company participating in it, which they did heavily for the manager, everyone knows. That song was nominally supposed to even make the top four, let alone number one. So this is Ariana Grande stuck with you. Okay, so this is a Project MK Ultra um, Monarch Butterfly, Project Monarch blind item. What the fuck? We're getting conspiracy theories in here now, too. This A-list singer became the latest member of a group of mainly singers, but some other celebrities who get a tattoo to make themselves feel important. <laughs> All that tattoos are of a name specific type of flying insect. It is their homage to that conspiracy theory begun over 20 years ago. Not the type of thing you would normally pay homage to. And this next one says Ariana Grande now disses uh, 6 9 for Gooba going number one on Billboard over Stuck on You with Justin Bieber. Oh, her and Justin did a song together. Ariana Grande called out for thanking Dr. Luke on the Charlie's Angels soundtrack. I hear that name and it stops me dead. The Donut Licker talks some smack about the child mm, slash rapper, which I fully support, but let's not forget the Donut Licker works with a doctor in name only who also does not have the best reputation. Taylor's version. This is interesting. Just says that Meghan Markle auditioned for a role in 2020 that Jessica Chastain got and she was pissed about it. More Scooter Braun drama. The donut licker didn't like a few very recent moves by her manager as it relates to other stars under his wing, especially his biggest, at least in his mind. The donut licker is ready to walk. That would be a massive hit to the manager. She doesn't like him always pushing collaborations with the B-plus list singer who has her own issues and is always looking to find a sharp knife to stick in your back. And that is Demi Lovato. And it says Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato confirmed the new romances and stuck with you music video. Remember when Demi Lovato got engaged to her fan? Part 30 of Ariana Grande blind items. And I agree, this really puts who she is into perspective. She has been through a lot of trauma and a lot of weird shit with uh, producers like Dan Schneider that I have so much sympathy for. But you also do have to take responsibility for your behavior at the same time. We are in May 2020 and Dalton Gomez has entered the chat. It says all about Dalton Gomez, Ariana Grande's new boyfriend and the damning no tragic Catriona White left for the world to see falsely accusing Jim Carrey of spreading stids. She's not the first one to say that too. Previously, this former A-plus list mostly movie actor, so that's Jim Carrey, was assigned to handle nobodies and he did so through that fake religion of his. So that is a callback to that cult blind item that I paraphrased. After some very bad results, he practiced with a co-star before turning his attention to the A-list singer. So that was him with his kidding co-star, Ginger Gonzaga. Even though she has a someone she is seeing, she still checks in with the actor bro multiple times each day. Bored? Something more? I mean, they're all in lockdown, so what is she going to do? This next one's from the 2020 Kids' Choice Awards. Um, oh, wait. I'm... <laughs> give Spongebob shout out in Kids Choice Awards 2020 speech <laughs> foreshadowing I don't know why anyone is shocked that the A plus list singer beat out other nominees to win that kid award these are decided in advance and whichever star has the biggest firepower and wants the award gets to win this allows the other artists to not show up so they won't be embarrassed <laughs> oh these are getting interesting this is a Machine Gun Kelly, Ariana Grande, Pete Davidson Blightum. It turns out the A-list singer did hook up with the best friend of the late night actor. This is saying that Machine Gun Kelly and Ariana hooked up. Listen, there are some lines you don't cross and Machine Gun Kelly is one of mine, but also hooking up with my boyfriend's best friends is too. <laughs> Another Jim Carrey blind item. These are creepy. The former A-plus list most movie actor is using his relationship with the A-plus list singer to lure more women into participating in some self-realization type thing. Another Scooter Braun blind item. It says Scooter Braun appears to shade Selena Gomez after Ariana Grande releases positions. 
He just can't help himself. The A-plus list manager acts like a spoiled brat and loves taking shots at anyone associated with the A-plus list singer he hates. This time he took a shot at the A-list singer slash sometimes actress. No wonder Taylor Swift hates Scooter Braun. Man, the more blind items I read about Scooter, the more I hate him. Part 31 of Ariana Grande Blind Items. We are in 2020 and she is dating Dalton Gomez, just for reference. One of the problems you face when you are this A-plus A-list singer and get a writing credit, but you never actually wrote anything, is that you can't answer a court filing saying you never heard of someone and therefore could have not ripped off their song. The person who actually did write the song knows the person suing very, very, very well. Um, so this says Ariana Grande shades rapper accusing her of stealing seven rings and it says Josh Stone I don't know who that is, but allegedly someone sued Ariana um, For stealing seven rings. I don't know if anyone wants to go find those court filings. It was in 2020 We are towards the end of 2020 and Ariana Grande is engaged again singer shows off massive diamond ring from boy boyfriend dalton gomez and this blind item does not age well because it says this a plus a list singer will never get married nope she she got married the boyfriend still has no idea how close the singer and the former a plus list actor still are and that is ariana grande still talking to jim carrey what the fuck it was free and it is not like she will be engaged all that long <laughs> but this Actually, she was not engaged all that long. She got married pretty quickly. But this A-plus A-list singer doesn't want people focusing on how much they don't like her ring. So a new one is forthcoming. Um, and that is Ariana Grande's engagement ring from Dalton Gomez has a heartwarming re meaning. Did she get a new ring? Like, I don't, I don't follow this stuff. Wait, you guys, there is a blind item about Danny Masterson right before this one saying how the Church of Scientology was moving around all his property to hide his assets. We are in 2021 and Ariana Grande joins The Voice as a coach replacing Nick Jonas. During a pandemic, even A-plus A-list singers take a massive hit in the bank account. You have A-plus list expenses and nowhere near A-plus list income. So what do you do? You are still a bigger star than the retired boy band bander with the questionable marriage. The next thing you know, you get a cool 20 million in your bank account and have people fawning over you every second of your working day. Well, except for the craft service guy. He knows what you're going to do to the donuts. <laughs> Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez are not yet married, but she is a judge on The Voice. This A plus A list singer slash soon to be judge is cheating on her significant other, so I'm really iffy on the whole wedding thing she is planning. Nope, she goes through with it, and that is insane. This a plus list singer got some hair plugs slash transplants so she wouldn't look so bare on television. That is Ariana Grande in The Voice. I don't know how you can get that kind of work done, though, like, in the middle of filming. I don't know if I believe that one. This a plus list singer has one of the most sophisticated bot farms that money can buy to make sure she sets every streaming record to a level that can't be beat. Ariana. Part 32 of the Ariana Grande Blind Items. We are in 2021. Can you guys tell I played college sports? Because I do not quit even when I'm miserable. <laughs> Ariana Grande marries Dalton Gomez in tiny and intimate wedding ceremony. So her and Dalton Gomez got married on May 15th, 2021. The marriage of this A-plus list singer is pretty young and now it looks like her new husband is being accused of S.A. Wow, that was fast. This next one says Ariana Grande honors Manchester bombing victims on 40th anniversary. This A-list singer, and that is Demi Lovato, knows this isn't the truth, but has been telling her own fans and using fake names to go on message boards to say that this A-plus list singer, Ariana Grande, knew about the bombings in advance. Jealous much? That is actually so messed up. What the hell, Demi? I just will never get over the fact that Demi Lovato said that seeing sugar-free frozen yogurt ruined her entire week when there are diabetic people that literally exist among us. This time, the split between the A-plus list singer and her controversial manager seems more permanent. She hasn't been happy with him for some time. She refused to contribute to a project praising him too. And this is um, Ariana Grande and a variety cover with Scooter Braun. And is Ariana distancing herself from Scooter over his Taylor feud. Um, is she with Scooter still? Someone let me know. 
Also from 2021, inside Ariana Grande's jaw-dropping $40 million property portfolio, this A-plus A-list singer should keep a better eye on how much money her significant other is spending and also moving into his own accounts. And it says Dalton Gomez, real estate agent. <laughs> okay, this next one from 2021 is about Kanye West's Donda. This married a plus list singer was told that the homophobe wouldn't be on the record she contributed to. Now that the homophobe has been added to the track list, she wants off. And that is da baby making some really awful comments about my community. This is a 2021 Met Gala blind item. And it just says that Ariana Grande, Zendaya, Sarah Jessica Parker, Yolanda, Gigi, Bella, and Anwar Hadid, as well as Lily Collins, uh, were all not at the Met Gala because they were not vaccinated. 2021 was the year that the Met Gala was in the fall. That's right. This a plus list singer slash newlywed is going to have big problems in her life if her husband keeps using as much as he has been. Our singer kicked the powder habit, but I would hate to see her back on it. And that is Dalton Gomez. This network talent show had to reshoot a segment because this A-list singer didn't have her wedding ring on. She said she would have an hours long fight with her husband if he noticed it wasn't on. So the ring was brought from her dressing room and they shot the segment again. And that is Ariana Grande on The Voice. Part 33 of the Ariana Grande blind items. We are in the second half of 2021, thank God. I don't think things are going to last long in the marriage of this young A-list singer if her new husband is going to keep cheating on her with her fans. In Ariana Grande's defense, I will say none of the Dalton Gomez blind items from Crazy Days and Nights are positive. That's NT Lawyer predicting the future. November 2021, Ariana Grande is cast in Wicked. This former a list singing television actress, so this is Lee Michelle, is now realizing that when one burns bridges, there's a long road back to repairing them. Another movie singing role that she thought she was going to get is now going to a different actress. That is Cynthia Erivo getting the role of El Faba on Wicked. And remember, if you remember back to those blind items from Scream, Scream Queens about how Ariana Grande and Lee Michelle were fucking mortal enemies on set, there was no way Lee Michelle was going to get that movie. This A-list singer was recently asked if she would be willing to work again with this foreign-born A-list singer who loves the end of the week. She said, that will never happen again. She hates him. That is Ariana Grande refusing to ever work with The Weeknd again. <laughs> I wonder if he called her to be on The Idol. We are in 2022, you guys. We are almost caught up to where my Ariana Grande blind items already begin. If I have a dozen of his homophobic slash racist text messages, how many do you think you're out there? The A-list singer slash judge really needs to come to terms with who her husband is. Don't forget his essay either. And that is Dalton Gomez. And it says, not cool. Ariana Grande and husband Dalton Gomez accused of mocking Native American culture in deleted Instagram video. Not cool. Not cool if they did that. Not cool. This is a little Cynthia Erivo blind item that just mentions uh, how she and Ariana Grande are bonding for Wicked Movie. Um, this B-plus list actress who has a starring role in a Broadway show turned movie is set to be an A-lister, claims to have been essayed by this A-list actress with a franchise not named Amber Heard. And that is Michelle Rodrigo. Rodriguez, sorry. Also from 2022, this A-plus A-list singer is finally realizing her husband doesn't care one bit about her other than what she can do for him. Dalton? Also from 2022, things don't look so good from the outside. This A-list singer had a huge event and her significant other was nowhere to be seen. Usually who'd be there looking to leech off of her friends. Also from 2022, which A-list singer slash former tweener who recently nabbed a big movie role is about to nab another big flick? She's rumored to be voicing this classic cartoon character in a long gestating feature film. Several streaming services are in a bidding war for this flick. It doesn't say what that film is though. It just says Wicked. You want more? I'll give you more. I was gonna take a little break from reporting on blind items today for some vocal rest. If you know, you know. But speaking of vocal rest, I got this really juicy reader submitted blind item about Ariana Grande and Mac Miller's relationship and its beginnings. And it's very much giving Ariana has a pattern. 
Kyle, girl, I love your content. I can't keep quiet about this Ariana Grande stuff. There's a lot of overlap in the stories. I'm just now noticing the tea is old from 2012, 2013, but please feel free to share. My senior year of high school, I had a friend who worked with Mac Miller's girlfriend at the time. She got in trouble at work a lot because of his weird, creepy fans coming in just to point, whisper about, and stare at her, even sometimes harass her. Eventually, she learned to just duck into the back room whenever that happened. That's actually really sad. If you are a stan of someone, don't do that to their significant other unless they're Sam Asghari. Still though, he was worth it. Everything was great from for them in 2012. He always took her on very sweet dates. I'm um, talking roses, nice cars, fancy restaurants, buying her dresses, type uh, beat, RIP Mac. She was far from insecure and the relationship she seemed to be going places. That is until ya stepped her ponytail foot into the picture. <laughs> By the way, the majority of Ariana Grande's ponytails and the reason why her hair looks like it does now is because those were all wigs. She was straight up bald for several years from overstyling. Suddenly, he was in the studio with her 24-7. She was spending the holidays with his family and the whole time he said not to worry because they were, quote, just friends. Remember when Ariana Grande was hanging out with Ethan Slater, his baby boy and his wife? Then around March 2013, the song came out that put her on the map, and it was clear to anyone with eyes who watched the music video that the two had a serious chemistry. It was also very clear that he liked her way more than she liked him. His relationship could not survive the suspicion, and it reached a breaking point at the same time as the music release. The now ex-girlfriend maintains that he cheated on her, and she had seen texts from Ariana, but she didn't want to share. She never explicitly said who it was either, but she she did not have to. End of blind since I stopped keeping up with that friend for a bit because it was graduation time for us at that point. Apparently Naya Rivera caught her and Big Sean when they were in the studio together. I guess more of the story is don't leave Ariana Grande in the studio with your man. <laughs> I'm going to protect your identity so I'm just going to say thank you so much HHB. You want more? I'll give you more. We have a new Ariana Grande blind item that gives some insight into her and Ethan Slater's relationship. Because what the hell was going on on the Wicked set? Films are so weird now, Hugh Grant lamented back in March. You know, in the old days, by the end of the second week, you were all getting drunk in the evening and having dinner and falling in love with each other and all that. Enter Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. Ariana Grande allegedly paid for her new lover's first class trips, fancy meals, and romantic gifts. He's living the good life, and now I understand the temptation was stronger than the love for his simple family. Damn. I was literally just thinking about this earlier. Like, how could you turn down flying around on Ariana Grande's private jet. Sources also said that Ariana is still in character and speaks and dresses like Aubrey Hepburn to bring old Hollywood nostalgia. So they are really throwing it back with this relationship. Some say that she's even been eating a full meal lately because her new lover is making her smile and get back her dream of having a beautiful family soon. But our team just told Ethan to go fuck himself. <laughs> Feel free to remind him of that. He won't get a free cheating pass, but Ariana will not get a slap on her hand this time. I fully agree that. I think that Ariana is just too A-list for this to dethrone her, but this is dangerous for Ethan Slater. This is his introduction. I know he's been in the business, but this is his like introduction to the big screen and like big Hollywood. And it is not a good intro. <laughs> Especially when you think about the parents and the moms that would bring their children to go see Wicked. They're going to be like, nope, Team Lily J. 